7 Best Investing Blogs – Think Like an Investor In this segment of our Think Like an Investor series, we're going to look at another resource which proves invaluable to the modern investor – blogs. Now we know what you're thinking, everyone and their dog has their own blog these days. And while we're not decrying the merits of a good dog blog, we've cut through the noise and listed our favorite investing blogs so you don't have to slog through the fog. Dr. Seuss Eat Your Heart Out If you like this, check out our other resources to start thinking like an investor. Best Investing Apps Best Investing Podcasts Best Investing Twitter Accounts Best Investing Books Best Investing Newsletters My Walsh Blog Here at My Walsh, we provide something for everyone. From daily business and stock market news to analyzing individual stocks and an ever-expanding mine of educational posts to make you a better investor. Our blog accommodates every type of retail investor out there. It also boasts the best writing team out there. Possibly the best writing team ever produced, they provide humble and unbiased analysis at every step. The collaborative fund, Morgan Housel. Morgan Housel is an amazing writer who produces insights that are as eye-opening as they are simple. Taking a few steps back, he surveys a wide range of economic and historical factors to mold and support his long-form opinion pieces, which are produced weekly. His perspective on macroeconomics is really unique, as is the subject matter of his weekly post. I would highly recommend his article The Freakishly Strong Base for Any Investor Getting Started in the Stock Market. The Motley Fool A behemoth of an investing blog, news site, stock advisor, educational resource, and everything in between all rolled into one. The Motley Fool should be a resource in any retail investor's arsenal. With an impressive team of writers and analysts on board, The Fool provides an endless stream of content. It's our one-stop shop for the latest stock market news, especially around earnings season. They also produce one of the best investing podcasts out there as well. Reddit Now this is bending the rules slightly as I don't think anyone could call Reddit a blog, but it is a vat of information that does not get enough attention. For those who don't know Reddit, it is its social media site, directed toward open discussion. It is split up into separate specialist forums called subreddits, which cover any topic you could think of and more. Subreddits like r slash stocks, r slash investing, r slash business, and r slash stock market provide both a news source and online community in which you can have an open discussion about anything to do with the stock market. It is an amazing resource for beginner investors, as you can find the community and content that suits you and most importantly, if you ever have a question, just ask. A Wealth of Common Sense, Ben Carlson, in his blog, Carlson approaches the art or science, depending on your perspective, of investing in a very accessible way. A Wealth of Common Sense is one of our favorite investing blogs because it demystifies the stock market and promotes a long-term investing strategy two of the cornerstones of what we do here at MyWallst. Carlson's common-sense approach and jargon-free writing style make this blog a great asset for anyone with skin in the game. From the beginner investor to those whose portfolios are longer in the two. He's also one of the best investing Twitter accounts out there. Farnham Street, Shane Parrish Not your ordinary investing blog, Shane Parrish's Farnham Street delves into the human psyche and asks how we operate. Some of his work on mental models is definitely worth a read if you are trying to improve your problem-solving skills and critical thinking, or if you just have a general interest in how the human brain works. With over 220 articles under its philosophy category and just 18 in investing, this isn't the blog you resort to uncover this month's hottest growth stock. This is a blog that will help you optimize your entire approach to your investing life. The Big Picture, Barry Riffolds The Big Picture has been around since 2003 and has garnered a loyal following sense, mostly thanks to Riffolds's no-bullshit approach to investing. The current Bloomberg and former Washington Post writer is in an elusive club on Wall Street. He is one of a very select few who successfully predicted something. Something in this case being the housing crisis and subsequent recession. The big picture is a great insight into the mind of a high-level investor, as amongst his opinion pieces. Riffolds shares with his readers the articles he reads every day. If you want to know more about Wall Street, this blog is a great place to start.